Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Titan Season 2 trailer. Very excited to be talking about this finally. I tried to do it yesterday, but I just sort of ran out of time. So we're getting around to it. I am very excited. I love Season 1. I thought it was really, really good. So, yeah, let's go ahead. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so the first part of the trailer, it starts off and it's a recap of the season. And then it ends on this very shot that we ended the season on. And this was with, obviously, Trigon taking over Dick Grayson. So that's how the trailer starts off. And then it goes to present day. And our first shot of the trailer is of a car. It's at Wayne Manor. You see Dick in the car. And then we go on to this shot. It's inside the halls of Wayne Manor. And we've got our first look at Bruce Wayne in Titans. He's played by Ian Glenn from Game of Thrones. And you see Dick walking along the corridor with him. So that's exciting. I love Ian Glenn. He's one of my favorite actors on Game of Thrones. He's one of my favorite characters on Game of Thrones. However, I don't know if I see him as Bruce Wayne. I know he's supposed to be older and he's sort of like a mentor figure. I guess, you know, a bit like Batman Beyond or... You know, some of the comic books when he's basically old man Batman. And they're doing that on Crisis, actually, very soon. But obviously, he's not playing him. It's Kevin Conroy who played Batman in the animated shows. Anyway, so I don't know if I could necessarily see him as Batman. Obviously, I don't think he's going to appear as Batman. But yeah, I'm not so sure. Maybe they should have just dyed his hair brown because, you know, that's the iconic look. But either way, I'm looking forward to seeing his sort of rendition of Bruce Wayne. Okay, so then we go to a shot. This is, I believe, outside of that same house where Dick Grayson was. I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, so we see, you know, there's a camera crew, there's a fireman behind, there is the police and everything, so shit's gone down. And we see Robin, and he says, Titans are back, bitches. And he's very excited. So looking forward to seeing more of him. He was really good last season. I liked the various episodes he was in. But the most exciting thing about this trailer, in my opinion, is our first look at Diana Troy. And she is obviously in her Wonder Girl gear. I am super excited for this. She looks so cool. I really dig this suit. You get to see her lasso. She's holding a lasso right here. She has the stars. It's all red. She's got the gold belt. Man, this looks cool. Then you get this close-up. So it sort of just goes into this close-up from a wide shot. And yeah, damn. I am so excited. She was one of my favorite additions of last season. She didn't get enough, so I'm looking forward to her this season and getting some more screen time. Okay, so we move on to the next shot, and we get Robin versus Robin. So I believe this is in the Batcave, and I'm not sure if this is in present day flashbacks or in his mind or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. But in that same sort of elevator it kind of looks like an elevator or like a costume room where they will put it on but anyway it's probably in the titans headquarters if they got one right now we get this look at hawk very excited to see more of him him and dove were one of the best things along with diana troy last season and then we go to a street shot and this street shot is very intriguing so you see wonder girl behind obviously with her lasso it's all lit up looks really good and we see starfire and they are fighting someone unknown i don't know who it is but, according to some people online, they're theorizing this could be Blackfire, and Blackfire is a character who is heavily linked with Starfire, and I believe there were some rumors of her coming, so it could be her, it maybe isn't, we'll have to wait and see about that one. And then we see our first look at Dove this season, you know, same old thing, I love Dove. I actually genuinely think she was, you know, like I said, Wonder Girl, Hawk and Dove, but I think Dove, you know, is probably the best thing about Season 1, along with Robin, and then maybe Hawk and Wanna Go just behind. So very excited to see Minka Kelly back as Dove this season. Then we got our first look at Aqualad, and so this is not the version of Aqualad we're used to, because most of us know Aqualad. You know, if you haven't read the comics, you know Aqualad from Young Justice, basically. That is where he's sort of famous for right now. So at first, I was like, who is this guy? I don't recognize him. But then, talking to some people, they were like, it's Aqualad. And I was like, oh shit, this is a totally different version. But it's the Garth version of Aqualad. I was just thinking of the one that we had in Young Justice. I was like, 
damn, he looks really different. But anyway, so it's Garth, and, you know, I believe, you know, there's different iterations of Aqualad out there, and it's actually pretty comic book accurate, his suit, and I'm very much so impressed of how it looks, because it does look really similar, and it's sort of in the style of Wonder Girl's costume, and I think they look really good both together, so Wonder Girl's in the shot as well. And then we get this shot, it looks like Dick's got longer hair, don't know where he is, but he's talking, he's trying to get some inspiration of sorts. And we see Beast Boy, his face is turning green, there is some sort of imminent attack, and Raven's in the background with her hair from season 1, so I'm presuming this is pretty much straight after the start of episode 1, continuing from where we ended last season with that cliffhanger. Okay, so then we get our first look at the character called Jericho. And so, in the comics, Jericho is known as Joseph Wilson. He is the son of Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke. We'll talk about that in a second. And so, when he was a child, he actually was rendered mute. So, this actor who's actually playing him is actually mute, and he's deaf in real life. So, he uses sign language, and that's what you're seeing in this trailer. So, very excited to see him, because if you watch the recent animated film from DC... When he showed up, and also Rose Wilson showed up, who we'll talk about in a sec, she appears in this trailer. They were really good, and I'm very intrigued to see this sort of Judas contract storyline that they're going along with. That was the film that DC recently did in the animated films. So, exciting to see our first look at him. Then we move on to the next shot. Oh my god, one of the best things. Superboy, he looks bang out right from Young Justice and right from the comics. I can't wait for him. This looks like it's potentially the house where we ended last season. I could be wrong, but very, very excited to see him. He's one of the main reasons why I'm excited, along with Aqualad. And then we move on. We got our first shot of Rose Wilson, aka the other child of Deathstroke. So she is known as Ravager in the comics, and in some iterations of the comics, she's actually left in the care of the Titans. And so Rose eventually becomes a member of the Titans and she is good. She's not like her father, who is obviously bad, but an anti-hero at points. And so yeah, this is our first look. She's got the eye patch, she's got the sword, she's obviously got the skills. I think she looks really cool. I really do like this hair, sort of reminds me of Dove a bit. So yeah, looking forward to her. We get this shot right here of Starfire using her powers. As per usual, she looks really cool. And then we've got it's seemingly inside a hotel or just outside a hotel. So Jason's sort of like revving his bike or something like that. Anyway, moving on to the next shot. Probably my favorite shot of the trailer. We get Raven as she seemingly absorbs Trigon into her gem in her forehead. Very excited to see that bit. Okay, so now we get like a full on good look at the Aqualad costume. It looks really good. Really comic book accurate. You've got the blue trousers and you've got the red sort of upper part of the body and the golden streaks really like it i don't particularly know the actor but looking forward to it because i think his suit looks really cool and then moving on to the next shot we've got robin in that same place as hawk and also earlier wonder girl and we get the lasso being used by wonder girl again looks really really cool looks like the one from the film like that's how good it looks and our first look at crypto the super dog Super excited to see this. We get a shot, and this is of the shot of him actually discovering Crypto, and this him I'm talking about is Superboy that we mentioned earlier. So I'm wondering if they're going down the sort of Cadma storyline that they did in Young Justice, or if they're going to change it and sort of go in a different direction. Maybe he's not made by Lex Luthor or anything like that. So looking forward to that, but Crypto is here. Very excited to see him. We get a shot of the police trying to take down Rose Wilson, so she's obviously going to kick their asses. But then we get this shot, and this is of Dick actually pointing a sword straight at Raven's forehead, or like her head. And obviously the gem is signifying that is where she keeps Trigon trapped in. So wondering what episode this is from, and if they get Trigon straight away, and you know what's going to happen with that. And also she has a new haircut, which is very interesting. We'll talk about that in a sec. Then we move on to an action scene. This action scene is with Dove and Hawk. It's kind of a bit blurry because it's just mid-action and it's in a trailer. And we get another sort of blurred action scene with a unknown person. I don't know who it is, but it's Robin fighting him. 
Then we seemingly get a look at Aqualad's powers. There's a, a load of water flying down and a guy flies down, so maybe that's Aqualad shooting his powers. But in the background, you get this cool sort of superhero walk, and this is with Robin, Hawk and Dove, and yeah, very excited to see that scene specifically. Then we move on, and it seems like we're in the new Titans headquarters. And I think they're going to have a headquarters this season, so looking forward to that. But they're looking at some sort of case file, and, you know, the Titans are there. So they're sort of looking over it. And, you know, the big thing to note from this trailer is there's a lot of the old Titans. They're all sticking around, but there is a lot of new Titans, which is very exciting to see. So, talking about Raven's new haircut, we get this shot right here. She's obviously sort of curled it a bit, and I think it's pretty cool. Although I think I do prefer the old haircut. Not too bothered really about the hair, but she's got the gem in her forehead. She's talking to Dick right here. Not sure where she specifically is. Looks like maybe a cafe of sorts. Okay, so we get this cool walk along shot and supposedly what is the new Titans headquarters. They're all suited up. From left to right, we got Wonder Girl, got Aqualad, we got Robin, we got Hawk, and then Dove. Looks really, really cool. And then we get the big revelation, and I totally forgot about this until the trailer. But Deathstroke is here, and I have to say, I freaking dig this look. Like, you guys know I really love him on Arrow, he's great. I love his look on Arrow, but this is very, very comic book accurate, and I really dig it. I think it looks really cool, and I can't wait to see the sort of Judas Contract storyline that they are supposedly going down, and seeing how Deathstroke ties into all of this, and how his children will tie into him. So very much so looking forward to that and I can't wait. So let me know what are your thoughts on the Titans trailer in the comments down below. What do you think about Deathstroke specifically and Wonder Girl's new look, Aqualad and all the different new characters and, you know, the returning characters. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.